Welcome to Weld.com. We, uh, we did a uh, student was asking about how to pass a, a 6G pipe test. We did a TIG route and we said we we're going to come back and do a MIG fill and cap. And I'm running off the ESOB Rebel. Uh, I'm going to run an 030 wire. I'm set up on C25 gas, 030 ER70S6. Uh, 17.2, 215 inches a minute on my wire feed speed, 35% inductance. Pretty much a standard run on a lot of groove work we've done. A couple of things about this, I, you know, there's, it's just safe to run stringer beads, although it's hard to get that profile. I mean, you got to be so steady and smooth in your transition going around this thing here. And I'm going to be using a product called a Velvet Shield. This pipe's going to get hot, <clears throat> and I want to I want to rest this up here, and I just I want to try to just slide and do a multiple stringer beads. I could, believe it or not, I could come in here and weave level with the ground and put a single fill pass in here. Feel pretty comfortable about laying it in nice and flat. I, I know that sounds crazy. It's it, to me it's easy. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and do the traditional way of running multiple fill passes. I'm stacking two, and then I'm gonna come back and do a three bead cap. Now granted, these are gonna be fairly small beads. If I weave at all, it's, it's just very subtle, and I'm probably gonna do that small weave, maybe a tiny circle. When I do this first fill pass, I'm concentrating on this part toward me, this part of the bevel. I wanna point my wire back in here, uh, pretty much 90 degrees to the bevel face and I want to try to make this transition and when I get up here on top it's almost like I'm I'm pointing the wire back downhill but in actuality I'm like right in the center of the pipe so you know a lot of these movements uh, some of them are a little foreign you got to get comfortable doing this pipe work is uh, a little different than structural and in your body movement so you got to get comfortable again I'm gonna start out down here on bottom, and I'm just gonna to try to do a, a smooth transition all the way around. If I get uncomfortable, I'm gonna to have to stop, so make a restart, which I may have to go to the grinder. So uh, let me get my hood on, I'll be right back. First bead looks like it's roping up a little bit. I'm not too worried about it because I'm gonna have to clean things anyway. I don't wanna get too far out on this edge because I wanna leave myself that beveled edge as a guide. I need to go clean this uh, glass out of this first bead here. I need to touch this with the grinder. I'll be right back. I have my first pass done. I got a little peek it over here. Uh, I'm not real happy with that, but I did it. I did go in here and clean the glass out and uh, I'm getting ready to run this second pass in here. Again, I'm trying to save the beveled edges so that when I do my cap, I use those as a guide. That's our second pass of our fill. I need to go do some more cleaning here, so be right well. I'll be right back.
This concludes our 6G pipe weld. Students were asking how, we, how do we pass this for a, for a test. <clears throat> we put a TIG root in. I did a single fill pass with gas metal arc welding and then I ran a three bead cap. Um, I got a little squirrely here in my blending of beads down here. They are all above the plate or the uh, pipe surface and everything. I could have done a little better blending. It looks like I missed it on the second pass. I nailed it well up here. Of course, this is the most comfortable position. So um, to test this, a couple of ways to test this. We come in here and we either x-ray this and or cut coupons at two, four, eight, and 10 o'clock, bend one to the root, one to the face. Um, so I hope this helps and answers the student's question about how to pass this test. Uh, I want to mention this item here. This came out real handy for me because I was able to rest my forearm against this. It's a Steiner Velvet Shield and uh, no heat, pretty comfortable. I just, you know, I'm a little out of practice on this kind of weld here, but uh, doable. Watch your parameters. I think we were running, we were running 030 wire. Uh, I ran 40% inductance, C25 for a gas, 030 wire at 17 volts. So again, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching weld.com. Subscribe to the videos.